This is the project that I've been working on for the past few weeks. It's an e-nail that I'm calling Octonail. It's built on an ESP32 S2 microcontroller, which is running a PAD algorithm to control a solid state relay to reach and stay at the target temperature. The thermal couple of the standard 5-pin XLR heating coil is read by a MAX 31855 thermal couple amplifier board. The GUI is built in SquareLine Studio on top of LVGL, and I'm using the Arduino GFX library to drive the display. User input comes from the rotary encoder, which lets users select which element they want to edit or modify. Um, so by rotating it, you can choose between the power button and the temperature slider. Once you click on that, you can select the temperature you want. The rotary encoder supports acceleration, which is nice, so you can go slow and it goes slow, or you can go fast and it goes fast with you. Once you set your target temperature, you can turn the nail on, and the PID algorithm will start to drive the solid state relay, which allows the AC power to flow to the coil quickly reach the target temperature. It's going to overshoot by 27 degrees or so. The PID algorithm needs some fine tuning for sure. It's got uh, over the air updates and the ability to set the target temperature via a rudimentary web interface. Uh, for now it's functional. The coil is controllable and responsive and I'm really happy with how good the GUI looks, especially considering it's a $2 display driven by a $6 microcontroller. I plan to add a ring of LEDs for the rotary encoder and LEDs underneath the board to run animations during operation and to mirror the GUI during configuration. I have some uh, more displays on the way that I'd like to check out. I'm really excited about a round display. It's the same resolution of the display I'm currently using, but a little bit bigger. I also plan to add either a buzzer playing like old school ringtones, or if that doesn't sound pretty enough, a speaker and a little MP3 board so that it can notify you, you know, when the temperature is reached or when there's any kind of an issue. I plan to implement a settings menu as well as fine-tune the PID algorithm and clean up the code. It really needs a lot of work. And I'm in the process of setting up a GitHub repository. Once everything's running how I'd like it to be, I'll finish up the schematic, uh, redo the PCB design, and get some custom boards and components ordered. There's lots of work left to do, uh, so if you're interested in helping out, let me know, and uh, I'm sure I would uh, benefit from someone with a little more experience in embedded development and, and web applications. Um, also the server needs a bit of work. It, it supports setting the temperature via a rudimentary web server, but that could use some polishing and stuff like that.